All right, we are now up to chapter 11, a friend of ours. I think I'm really close to the end, the end of the game. Vila Scaletta, July 27th, 1951. What the hell is that? All right, let's go see who it is. Maybe I should change. Hey, Beto. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Hmm. Suspicious. But I'll play along. Well, I Are guess you know Clemente's on? dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's going to want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this. Why? Well, yeah, <laughs> look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought uh, maybe you think you could mm. put in a good word for me. Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. It's ready to jump ship pretty Thanks, quick. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. Seems so, suspicious. Uh, how's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny. Because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you sure you weren't there that day? Minnie Mouse. You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm going to say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two push from a mile away. <laughs> oh, Why, can you please man. Please not talk about this right now. Forever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. Damn. You ever get the feeling <laughs> you'd be better crazy. off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. And I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go? That's why I came to see you. So that was your last resort, huh? Thanks. <laughs> not for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. We are here, man. Let's go. Let's go have a drink. Kind of early, but literally just woke up. Hey. Hey, Vito. Hey. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? <laughs> Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who works for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. <laughs> oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point. Unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Was he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> uh, he is? <laughs> All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. 
Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. And take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now, that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. Dead bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. And yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could Damn. be a perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, man. man looks like you gotta take care of this yourself. Fuck. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later. Eddie. See ya. Always a pleasure, Mr. Scaletta. Hey, right, gotta get to warn Leo. Fast. All right, cool. Damn it, freaking cops, man. All right. Oh, my God, more of them. Turn coming up here. Let's Alright, we're here. Oh god! What the hell? Oh god! Come on! Get in there! Leo! 
Leo, Ooh. you here? How the hell did you get in here? Made it just in time. Get out of here. Oh, Leo, Leo, put here. it away. It's me, Vito. Vito, what the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, us. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? <laughs> want a drink? He doesn't give a fuck. What the fuck is wrong? Okay, so <laughs> what's happened? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Paolo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking for Christ's sake, get dressed and let's go! <laughs> Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage? They don't know we're expecting I can't do that. I know the guy, I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. <laughs> Look, I don't have time to Damn. explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late, they're here. Oh shit, Henry can't see me here, we gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Okay. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Come on, come on, come on. We could get down to the backyard this way. Just need a rope or something. Go get some sheets from the laundry. Where the hell? Wait, where's the fucking bedroom? Hmm, maybe we can fit in here. You've gone nuts? Eh, this was shaping up to be a nice day, too. All right, no! Easy, Henry. Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Damn it. Take a seat. Okay, no. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know anyone was going to put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You got to understand. Yeah, but you got to understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Leo, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. It's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Vito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. Damn. That's rough. I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Nice. That's awesome. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Alright. That's awesome. Let's take the nice Jefferson Provincial. Okay, Vito. Now get me over to the train station if you wouldn't mind. 
This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas <laughs> dead in a three-piece suit. Indeed, I you agree. Are, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You don't have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got complicated real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady <laughs> bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Take a few phone calls, settle my affairs. Then I'm gonna head for the airport. I'm gonna go someplace warm. Start tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere. Sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure. <laughs> Carlo wants me dead. And staying around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? No, I've been meaning to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, then all this squabbling starts to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. Nowadays, he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you when you dismiss. That was my choice, Leo. All you did was speed things up a little. Besides, what the hell else was I gonna do? Go work on the docks like my old man? All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today. Risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. <laughs> he deserves it. All right, home sweet home. What the hell? Frankie, what are you doing here? Beetle, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, what? He drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito! Please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito, but please hmm. don't hurt him. Please. Don't yeah, worry. yeah, yeah. I'll go don't talk worry, some man. sense into him, okay? <laughs> talk some sense, all right. Sure, buddy, sure. Actually, let me take my car. First one. Alright, where you at, you best? Jan van Marvenik. Alright. What the hell? What the f You alright there, buddy? What the fuck? Oh, damn. There's definitely a party going on here. Holy crap. Oh, damn. All right. <laughs> guys are throwing up. Yo, these guys are fucked up. Uh, uh, uh. Where's Eric? Eric's in the kitchen, hun. But I think he's busy now. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I see that. Yo, you freaking dirtbag. Eric, what the fuck you think you're doing? I'm busy here, okay? Get lost. I think you hmm. should be busy taking care of Wrong your answer, wife, bitch. Damn. I'll teach you to How's he not woman? bleeding? Freaking bastard. Yeah, you get wrecked, man. Fucking punk. Consider this a warning. You touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. From now on, you're gonna stay home, <laughs> stay off the yeah. door, stop the drinking, and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody. Damn. Party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever. Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you. Got it? Damn. Throwing down the law. Fucking punks. That was my car. Yo. Someone stole my car? What the fuck? That's some bullshit. Alright, I guess I'll take this car instead. Freaking rain. He <laughs> lose control. Oh my god, this car is terrible. Jeez, man. Wow. Alright. Bust it up. We're good. Really looks cool though. Alright, we're home for a second time. Phone's ringing. Vito, it's Francesca. Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized <laughs> for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. Damn. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Fido. I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you you stay away from us, you understand? Just, what the hell? just stay away. <laughs> Wow, okay. My own sister hates me, great. Wait, do I go to sleep or what the hell? Do I leave? What do I do? Go home. No. Yeah, go to sleep, I guess. Okay. What the hell is this? Torch the place! Do it now. Oh, you oh my house. My house. Ah. ah. The fuck. Oh damn. Oh, I lost so much money. What the fuck do I do? Oh <laughs> shit. Oh god. Yes. What the fuck? Oh damn! Yo, there's so many of them! Oh god! Oh 
disasters. Punk. Oh. Where's the last guy at? Freaking oh, cops! Get him! He's shooting me! Ah! Damn it! I can't even get a car. Wait! No! Ha ha! Punk! I need a car. Where are my skivvies? Ah! He's still shooting at me. Get out! Run! I'm out. Yeah, how did they not arrest him already, man? What the hell? Oh. Drive like grandma, get the hell out of the way. Freaking guy. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, okay, where are we going? Go to Joe's, okay. Joe, help! He's been like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you naked, bro? Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's go! You better not be passed out. Come on! Probably getting freaky or something. Come on, man. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, you barbecuing in your oh, underwear? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Can you come in? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I'll, I'll fix you a drink. Damn. This house looks nice. What the hell, man? What Remodeled the everything. Fuck. Wow. Nice, ain't it? <laughs> what the hell happened to this place? <laughs> I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, uh, it's really, uh. <laughs> different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. <laughs> You don't say. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. <laughs> a crazy fucking mix. What about him? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a Damn. bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Hmm. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Just thinking about that. You must get dressed. What if I don't want her? Hey, it's Joe. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. A bunch of mix try to kill a good friend of mine tonight. Point this house down. I want to know who they are and where they're operating out of. Wait. I want to wear. Hey, you're going to have a lot worse to worry about if you don't oh, tell me. Great. A fucking clown suit. <laughs> Mickey Desmond. Did he get any worse? <laughs> Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? <laughs> Fucking Yeah, close. yeah, I know the place. Burn. All right, thanks. Hey, you finally got you some good. style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like uh, those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? <laughs> the Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest man. of the car. This freaking game is so funny. Oh man. Come on, get in. E What? Which car? 
this car? 8 Kang. No. Oh. To this car? Wait, where the hell are you going? Oh. Alright. So you heard anything okay. about the Mix lately? Nah, nothing. Why? Nah, yeah, the Mix this. got themselves a new whatever. boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot. So he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being mm. down at that shithole joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place, surprise the shit out of it. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be yep. there in a minute. <clears throat> Sounds good. I do need some weapons though, so... I even have enough money? Oh, let's find out. You looking for something special? Nope, no cash. Adios. It all got burnt with my house. Great. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? Fuck hey, out of the way. Know how to drive, all right. Ready, Vito? Come on. Right, Let's go this. get these fucks. Yeah. All right, come on. I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. <sighs> but I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. fuck. You... You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, man. Right, Frickin' bartenders. Yo. You gonna shoot at me this time. Frickin' bastard. Frickin' prick. Alright. Where's this bastard at? Is it here? Oh, this is a bathroom. Oh, hell no. Get your ass over hey. here. More of them in that car. Let's go to get in the way. What the hell right, is Joe? Come on, you drive. Oh, no. They go after. Oh, what the hell? Wait. Who you, who you oh no! Copy that. Ah. We go in. Come on, kill him. Ah. You lousy shot, Joe. Get him. Yeah. Oh, and the switch rule on us. Should take a faster car. Oh, wait, he's running. Oh! Damn, get out! Get out! Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Gary, you're sure what? That takes care of that. Stupid fucks. Damn, dude. End of the rainbow. Settle the score with the Irish. Wait, no, no, not that car. Oh god. Are you scared, asshole? Ah! Why are you, who are you shooting at, man? I'm going on who? Oh my god, the cop wants to kill you, bro. Damn it. Who are you shooting at, bro? Oh, what the shot fuck, shot? Yo, what is happening right now? Oh, he just shot the cop. 
Alright, we'll take this guy's car. Oh, wait. Ooh. Okay. That works. Oh, that car is wrecked. Let's do this real quick. Well, that takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but it don't give me my house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right. Let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I could do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So, uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. Hmm. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's <laughs> over in Oyster Bay. Of course. Oh. So you feel better now? Now I'm here. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff that got burnt up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those were my things, Joe. What do you think I do to shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. Fucking wolf rap like no man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full with you, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, I guess. See you, buddy. What the hell? Sorry about tonight. You grab my car. Yo, you almost got around. Wow. Yeah, this is great. Nice place. Wow. The All right. Oh, this is creepy. 